Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2. We're in the middle of the Black Sight mission. At the end of the last video, I said, um, uh, you know, we put in a cut because it had gotten long enough, but also I said, oh, I'm going to do a save and reload. Um, I'm not sure that it's saving. So, I didn't do a reload. Um, on the off chance that it's not actually saving, but maybe it will when I get back to the Geoscape. So, I'm a little bit nervous about things, because I'm not... I'm not really seeing things progress in the um, the display the way I expected. So yeah. Anyway, um, the sniper we're gonna have to stay stay there under cover. We're gonna reload you, and I think we will get you to pick up the vial. Back online. Actually, no. We're gonna get the medic to do it. So reload, and then get in position for the vial. Listo para atacar. Because as soon as we do, there'll be an alien call down started. Um, and we want to be in position to counter it. Now, where's my evac site? Do I know where it is already? Up there. Ooh, a little further than I'm used to, actually. And we don't know if the call down is going to be here or up there. It would be nice to have some people in position ahead of time. Um, really, can I not get through here? Is there a door over here? There's a ladder. Or out that way. Oh, that's actually very inconvenient. Hold on, how am I going to get out? Oh, the ladder's on the outside. How am I going to get out of this room? There's a door over here. But that's the same as this door over here. Uh, no. Okay, we're going we're gonna to plan to get out this way. Which I think is fine. Uh, let's not do yeah, what we did last time and just assume the map is clear. Let's do a safety move to there. <laughs> Um, and, well, you will have to double move. But I'm going to double move to here. Solid which copy. is even less likely to, you know, have vision over anything. And we're going to reload, because we do want to make sure to go into the last mode with full bullets. Although, most likely, we won't need more than a couple of rounds of fire to clear everything. To but, it's a possibility that, you know, we'd go through it and then... Things wouldn't be ideal. Okay, let's move location. over here. So yeah, we're gonna try to make it out the, through the side door over here. I think the other game, maybe I, I grenaded something for an exit. That oh, actually sounds pretty it. likely in the the preview let's play because it feels like we had an exit here before. That was a very quick time between levels or between uh, rounds. So I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna pop open the door. I think you're the person I want to pick up the thing with. This is a double move, but a lot of other people still have actions, and you'd have full cover from a couple of different angles. And I would be really surprised if there was anything left in here. Um, okay, well, the outside here is clear. No, listen, I'm What's not going to rush there? this. Especially not with someone who's already injured. Gonna move to there. Although I could heal you. Actually, that's probably a great idea. Let's go ahead and here we'll just use the range heal because lazy. Um, that's a protocol. I want gremlin heal. There we are. Now this will not get rid of the wounded state, as far as I know. Uh, and I think we we noticed that on a previous mission that just because someone ends the mission on full hit points doesn't mean they're not wounded and will need some recovery time. That being said, with only two hit point damage have taken, that should be a pretty minimal and easy to fix wound. We're just going to flip over to the other side here, so we'll be a little closer to the exit. Affirmative, covering now. And yeah, you can move over here. And just wait. Okay. Hey, you hear anything? No. I'm not seeing sound waves, but now I'm thinking that maybe. Okay, I want to have one person Moving this way, position. so that they've got cover going backwards. Oh, it's a turret! Okay! Also, a gas tank somewhere. Oh, shit. Alright, well, if, uh... Oh, this is Sandra. This is the one without shred. Hold on. Can we get... Ultima Thul over here? If I move you back here, you'll have vision over the turret? Yes, you will. Good. What's over there? We should be able to kill this thing in one round. And if it looks like we might not, then I will simply move uh, Sandra, is it? So that she's got 
cover. Shredded damage. Still soak one damage from armor, but that's armor not too bad. Holding. And I think... Assuming we hit, this should kill it. There we go. Well, you know what? I'm really happy we popped this turret before we came out here after the aliens had been triggered, because that could be real bad news bears. Uh, it'd be nice if we could set up a position on the high ground, but it's not to be... We might just set up right, here and wait for the aliens to pop in, because we're, we're not going to be on a timer. I don't like ne being near this fuel tanks, though. Chances are I'll now. accidentally trigger it. Um, you just sit tight over there. We're not going to pick it up this turn yet. In fact, why don't we pop out all the way over here? And in fact, go so far as to move you up here. So you could still move if something terrible happens. No, you're looking all right. Good treat. And then Kruyan, we're going to position you over here, near the drop site, or the evac site, sort of the opposite of the drop. And we do have to keep some people around to provide cover for our vial carrier, which is what's going to happen right over here. So, ultimate thaw, you're going to come over here, you know, right near the explosive barrels. I'm sure that's fine. You're going to reload. You don't do anything this turn. We'll pick it up next turn. You just come okay. here and reload. That should be the turn, right? And then we're going to start the next turn by picking up the vial. I know, this is very, you know, it's very slow. But let's try not to F up anymore. Half the people are like, I play too slow, and half the people are like, I play too fast. It's like exactly the wrong kind of combination. I play slow when I could be faster. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity, no significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. Uh-huh. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. They're bringing in reinforcements. Oh, right next to the evac point. Okay. Which means I'm not actually covered in the right angle. So I'll have to do something about that. Um, my vile car carrier, who was not going to be able to really shoot this turn anyway. Well, that's not true. I could have positioned you by the window. We're going to go there. Um, now, they're not going to get to attack this turn. They'll just drop and then move. Uh, still, I'm going to want to move to cover. So I'm going to do this and just pistol overwatch. It's not as good, but it'll have to do. Is it clear? Overwatch. And then these guys, you're really not going to get anything. So we're not going to be able to get a free shot here, but that's okay. We'll still get in position for the next round. And here, actually, I will just scooch up a bit and then go into Overwatch. Just in case anyone runs in this direction, we might be able to get one free shot. Alright, come on in, aliens. And those are really cool VTOL ships. I gotta give them that. Oh, it's a freaking battle deck. Uh, that's a lot worse than I'd, I'd hope. I hope we don't waste our pistol overwatches on the battle neck. And yeah, he's gonna move first. Just because our pistols... Oh, is he gonna shoot on turn one? No, he's gonna move. Don't shoot the mech! He's got all the armor in the world. But we're still in the glitched animation mode here. So... It's very dramatic. At least it always does at least one damage. I don't think you can avoid all damage forever. One hit, one missed. Negative damage. Now that was on their turn, so now we get a full turn of action to respond. So thank goodness for that. Um, the Shredder. I'm going to focus on taking out the big guy first. So I'm going to move to here. Mostly to get cover from the one trooper over here, because this is a, um, a stun lancer, so he can move up and melee us regardless. So yeah, uh, no overwatches. So yeah, I'm just gonna move up to here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Actually, I just realized I'm not gonna have line of sight of this guy. Oh no, I am. No, I'm not. Cause yeah, I didn't see the thing. Are these rocks really getting in the way? Oh, they're full cover rocks. So I guess so. All right, that's a little less than appealing. 
Do I want to take the 63% or hold out for an Overwatch? Let's uh, reevaluate in a moment here. I'm going to scooch to here and then Overwatch. Voy a la posición designada. Oh, I have a shot. Really? I'm really not sure how that works. Do I want to just take it? Yeah, you know what? I think I do. And it's only going to hit one third of the time. But the odds of me being able to actually get an Overwatch attack down here is, a, is pretty low. Alright, it missed. La próxima vez le but you know, when you're allowed to shoot through the entirety of the Earth, I'm going to take it. Now, does the other sniper have line of sight to the big guy? No. Alright, we're gonna lightning hands this guy. Actually, that was... Uh, no, I had to do it this way. Because it would be nice if I could take my regular shot first, and then if I hit but don't kill him, then I can finish him with lightning hands. But taking the regular shot ends the turn. So I have to do it in this order. Alright, the regular shot missed anyway. Because it would have been nice to save my lightning hands for the other dude. Miss the target! So I don't think we can kill the mech this turn. I still think it's my best shot here, though. Alright, we rolled max damage, which is good. But, yeah, it's not enough to finish him off. What I'm really hoping is if I overwatched and the mech decided to move, and then I could kill the mech. I'm betting someone moves. It might be the mech, it might be the stun lancer. Either way, I think overwatch gets us a better shot. So that's what I'm going to do. Scanning. Oh, I should have used aid protocol instead of taking a shot with my support dude. That was actually a pretty dumb mistake. Any chance I get a, a weird random shot on someone? I saw there was an angle somewhere. Is it just when I was right up against the rock? I mean, I'm getting angles in the guy in the far end. Oh, I guess maybe when I moused over here. Just trying to see if I can get one on the mech. And it looks like the answer is no. It's too bad I can't move here and get a shot on that Lancer, or the, uh, the regular trooper in the distance. Because it would be nice to be right next to the ladder. Well, I can move here and get a shot, and then I'm pretty close to one ladder. So that's what I'm going to do. What's over there? I could also suppression fire. Let's suppress him, because at least it'll give him minus 50 aim, if nothing else. Enemy locked down. Oh, he took two from burning, wow. And that's a suppressing fire you're seeing here, it's not an actual shot. Okay, he moved. Kill him, 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 kill him. Kill him. Oh, uh, we're not getting the animation. What's happening? Yes! Oh, alright. I mean, I had a plan. It sounded pretty good in my head. Like, this is probably what's going to happen. Um, it does mean I think this... Oh, the stun lancer is not going to move up to a stun. He does get a, stu uh, a flank shot on my sniper. Fucking critical hit. Doesn't kill him. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. And this is the guy who'd taken two points of damage. He would be down right now. Maybe not literally dead. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I mean, at least I had cover from that angle. That could have been really bad. Oh, and I give him minus 50. That suppression fire may have just saved my sniper's life. Okay, now, the stun lancer is still on fire, so I think he dies on his turn regardless. That's pretty low odds. I move to here, which should give me a flank I'm on, the move. on the regular dude. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure the guy who's on fire is going to die at the start of his turn. 84% of the time, this works every time. Alright, good. 
And then I still have lots of shots on the stun lancer, and obviously I'm going to take that just in case he doesn't actually die, because that would be devastatingly bad. You know, it'll turn out that, like, um, fire can't kill you. Like, it can only bring you down to one. So you have a much higher chance here with 87% versus, what, 51%? Yeah, I think that's the last of them. So I think there's nothing to do but to run. I think if we waited long enough, it's possible that, um... There'd be some extra enemies coming down, but I don't think so. I'm not going to evacuate literally right now, just in case we need another round of combat, but that's pretty unlikely. Running. Just because I, I can only move two people this turn. Everyone else can't move. There's still that uh, barrel I could blow up. Oh, you still have actions? Hey, what? I'm going to overwatch you just in case something really bizarre happens. Affirmative. Je couvre la zone. And end turn. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. More people will come in. We could farm them, but I think that would be dumb, especially with the injuries we've already got. I think we only have one person who actually took an injury, though. What's I think it's there? only this character. He did get shot twice, so I and the second shot was really bad, so I fully expect him to be um, to critically injured at this point. But honestly, I, I will accept that. That is perfectly fine. I, I'm sure I could have handled it, you know, and done flawless. I think, you know, obviously every mission could be done flawlessly, but, um, as is, this could have been so much worse than it was. Good copy. Moving on target. Let's evac you. Evac confirmed. And you. Avenger. And this you. Is is secure. Oh yeah, and we've got and the bio, no. of course. But we also got out with everyone. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mission accomplished, Commander. Oh, we literally killed every enemy on the map as well. Where it hurts. I mean, more could have come, but this that's okay. Twenty-seven turns. Human being was ever intended to see. Happy as I am to see it gone. Something tells me the aliens won't take this lying down. Mm-hmm. Probably not. All right, let's really cross our fingers that there's been there are no weird crashes here, and that it successfully saves between missions. Because, yeah, the something on the display was not looking right. I should check my hard drive space, but I'm pretty sure we're 100% fine there. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Operation Purple Cobra. That sounds really dirty, actually. I didn't realize that was the name of the operation. Kurian got a lot of work done. 85% successful shots was really good. Although we took a lot of shots that had 100% uh, chance of success with those pistols. So that's going to drive up your, your odds quite a bit. Although I'm actually not sure if those count as part of your hit percentages. A lot of the special attacks don't seem to be counted well as part of your hit chance. It's always good for morale when we ace a mission like that. Right. Now we do have one gravely wounded person. Let's go ahead and promote Kruyan right away. Kill zone. Take a reaction shot against enemy, any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. I'm assuming that this is an ability I have to use instead of shooting. And so it's like Overwatch that also triggers on enemies shooting, which is nice. Face off. Fire once at every visible enemy with your pistol. Well, that's pretty fucking cool. That's really cool. I think these are both cool. I'm gonna take face off, because that's awesome. I'm sure the other one's awesome too. We'll have to take that on another sniper. Uh, Coleman over here gets promoted, and I still like Shredder quite a bit for taking on tough enemies, and I think I'm gonna go another person on Shredder. I gotta say, like, you know, just some free armor is really nice, really nice, but I think Shredder just comes up too often where we need to use the Grenadiers to strip away some armor. Ultimate Thull, who's already pretty highly ranked, what do you get now? Heavy Ordnance. The grenade in your grenade only slot gains a bonus use. Okay, so I think what happens is because she's a grenadier, right, when we bring her out on a loadout, she's always got two grenade slots. One is actually just like an item slot. I think you can put anything. She can carry a med kit or whatever. But the other one is the slot only for grenades. And presumably I could replace the normal grenade with a plasma grenade or a smoke grenade or something like that. Um, and so the one grenade that's in there actually would gets fired twice. So now all of a sudden we could either have Maria running around with three grenades or two grenades plus another thing entirely, which is really nice. 
On the other hand, there's hollow targeting, which I love from the original XCOM, or XCOM EU, I should say. Any directed cannon shot, hit or miss, will mark the target, increasing your squad's aim by plus 15 against this target, which is just freaking amazing. I often fire with her first to strip away armor, and then she'd give everyone else on the squad plus 15 to hit? That's a really tough decision. Grenades are really, really good, though. You know what? I think we might split this. I think this person will go heavy ordnance, and then we might go hauling and targeting with someone else. I don't think that there's a bad choice on that level. They're both super strong. Corporal Fontaine. Um, we, I mean, again, that Deadeye sounds really cool, but holy crap, are we ever getting really good use out of Lightning Hands? It pays off again and again and again. Very good ability. Uh, Revival Protocol lets you remove a debuff. Disoriented, stunned, panicked, or unconscious, which is really good. On the other hand, Haywire Protocol, if I remember to use it to hack enemies... Christ, that's strong. I think we're gonna grab Haywire Protocol, even though I have a hard time remembering to use it. Okay. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Sight facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. And yet, this is a better version than the base repeater. The base repeater is a 5% chance to instantly kill someone. Now it's 10% chance, which is pretty nice. Miss shots still deal with one damage. It's just a really nice way to make things less painful. Expanded magazine plus one clip. Laser sight, I love. Oh, no, this is just an improved critical. Um, I was thinking of, um, of, I don't remember what it's called, the one that gives you 5% more accuracy. That's really nice, and it says improving even further with proximity to target. Sounds like the sort of thing we want to give to a ranger. Alien encryption. Research unlocked. Did we not already have this unlocked? I thought we'd gotten something. Or maybe we found like an alien like data pad or something. Um, but yeah, okay, so there's something we can research. Having now seen the inner workings of the Black Supplies are good. facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. And it reduce the avatar progress. The aliens have undertaken progress? a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. <laughs> All right. New objective added. Do some research. Yep, the got aliens it. aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. So we have one engineer busy in the Proving Ground, improving the rate at which we get Skulljack, Before which is another he made uh, contact, quest thing. I just assumed um, the hello. spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the Resistance. It'll turn out to be the douchebag that's on the news all the time. Um, and then we have the under engineer building, helping to build the advanced warfare center, which is going to be important for us. Uh, we have enough supplies. We could get something else with the guerrilla tactics school. I'm just a little concerned. I wonder, do we have someone who's ranked up high enough that we can get the six combat slot? Yes, we do. Okay, that's number one priority. Ooh, neat. Um, number one priority. Now we have a squad size of six. This makes things supremely easier. And we can unlock Sharpshooter Deadshot. Bonus 10% chance to critically hit enemies. I think we want to grab that. Wow. Wow. Very nice stuff. Okay, all right, cool. Um, I don't feel the need to train a rookie right now. It, it, I can't remember, is it free? I guess it is free. Um, we got an extra... I think at this point we've got a pair of everything. In fact, I think we've got a third grenadier here. Um, I'm tempted to pick up another sharpshooter. Or another ranger. The rangers tend to get injured more. Maybe we need more backup rangers. Let's tell you what, we'll do that. May as well give them a free rank. Um, if it doesn't cost us anything. <sighs> Research is going fine. I guess we go back to the bridge at this point. Right, Avatar Project, I think, is going to lose a chunk. Having destroyed their black Boom. site, you have dealt a blow to the alien operations, Commander. But there is still no time to lose. Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Do we really? Or is that just flavor text? 
No, I mean, it's, the UFO hunts the Avengers. Silsa is preparing, getting into the retaliation site. That's probably going to be the next mission. Um, I do want the scientist. But I, am, I have started work on the engineer, and we can get someone else digging out some more bits of our base, which seems pretty nice. Avenger so let's just go here, course. since we have started that. Although I do like science. Okay, we're still okay. Holy shit, there it is. Now, can it spot us if we're on the ground? Oh, someone recovered from their wounds. Uh, we got... Oh, Gorilla Ops. Yeah! So what do we want to counter? Um, this first of all, this mission gives us another engineer. What what's the difficulty? So we got moderate, easy, moderate. Okay, this gives us an engineer. Now we're about to get a third engineer. I don't know how much we need to prioritize that. This one gives supplies, always nice, and this one here gives us a scientist, which is probably better, and also cancels another UFO going around. I don't know how bad these UFOs are. I haven't dealt with this yet. But I'm going to take this option here, um, because I think another scientist would actually be quite spectacular. We are going to get more and more increased research rates, so um, I'm going to confirm that we're going to do that. There's no UFO out right now, which is good. And we're going to prep for this mission. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, though. And when we come back, we will do Operation Death Stink <laughs> uh, to hunt after um, the scientist. Destroy the relay, get another scientist. And it's going to be our first mission with six squad members. Really lovely. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.